Derek, thank you very much for buying the Element Office. Much appreciated. I'm sorry your tumble dryer is still faulty, so let's go through the wiring diagram and try and help you fix it. You say you've tested the two thermostats and they look all fine. Um, the heating element itself, you've checked both fields on the heating element and you say they're fine. So we need to have a look at the wiring diagram. But as you can see, the heating system is here on the left hand side. I hope this is large enough for you. And it looks like we have got two thermostats and two fields on the element which you say you've tested. This goes to the circuit board uh, and it looks like you've possibly got two relays controlling low heat and high heat. Uh, you can see these here, but without having the circuit board in front of me, it's very hard for me to tell uh, exactly. You've also got the NTC sensor probe on the right hand side and I'll bring up the detailed information on the ohms reading on this sensor so you can test that as well. But as you can see, Derek, I've managed to get the heating diagram and the NTC diagram as well. So let me just quickly go through this. Uh, on the heating element, you can see B and C. These are thermostats on the back of the heating element that you received. One of those is a reset type thermostat. Now, it might be an automatic reset or it might be one that you have to reset itself. Uh, with a little button on it or a pinhole to uh, push in. I haven't got the heating element in front of me, but you've got all the details on the heating element there. Now, with regards to the NTC sensor, you would normally have a room temperature of about 20 degrees that you want to be working on. This means that you should have a maximum value of somewhere in the region of 6,300 and a minimum value of 5,700 ohms. As long as you're within that range or somewhere thereabouts to according to the temperature, and then when you put your fingers on the NTC sensor probe, of course the value will drop. And that's what it's meant to do because this NTC sensor sends the information to the actual control board that then activates. What I'm a little bit concerned with is you say you've tested it in test mode and the heater came on. It could be a bad connection somewhere or it may be a relay that's faulty. But if all of these check out perfectly, you may even have a problem with the circuit board itself. But do go through it slowly and make sure you check all the components and all the wiring. I hope that helped you. Remember, anyone else that's watching this, there are multiple variations of this model that you can see here. And if you are ordering parts, you need to make sure that it fits your model and PNC number. This ID label can normally be found just inside the door on the back of the machine. I've also put a link to this tutorial in the description below. And there's also some very useful videos with regards to heating system and uh, heater relays and so on. Uh, so go to that tutorial if you do need further assistance. Thanks very much indeed for watching and please remember to buy your parts off us as that's what keeps us going and able to make these videos for you. Thanks for watching.